This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Kualoa Ranch, where legends are made. Aloha and welcome to another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by the beautiful Kualoa Ranch. We've got a great show for you today. This chef that we got coming on has been in two Michelin star restaurants and he just opened a restaurant in Honolulu. It's awesome. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the kitchen chef, Kevin Lee. How are you doing, chef? Doing well. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining on. me. I know you're a busy man. Yeah. You just opened a, a restaurant. What's the name of your restaurant? It's called Pai Honolulu. Pai Honolulu. Now, Pai is short for a Hawaiian word, isn't it? Uh, this is the suffix of the Hawaiian word Ho'opai. Yeah, and what does that mean? It means to uplift, inspire, uh -huh. or raise up. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah. creative. How long have you been cooking? Uh, going on a little past 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. How's the restaurant business? Uh, it's challenging. But yeah. Can't be, can't be any more enjoyable. Well, they say the chefs who do the uh, restaurant business they really are passionate and love what they do, or else you wouldn't be doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you've been cooking at how old did you start cooking? Uh, I didn't start cooking professionally until college. Yeah. yeah. But did you what ramen? What was your first thing you cooked? And what was the first thing you cooked that made money? <laughs> that made money. Yeah. Uh, probably, probably, probably in college. I, I was in a, I was in a fraternity. Yeah. And then uh, was doing a like a giant barbecue for for our fraternity as well as our, uh -huh. our sister sorority. And they made you cook? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they knew, yeah. they knew, right? All right, what are you gonna make today? I'm gonna make a poached shrimp salad. It has a little bit of a, a local a local citrus and a chili pepper water vinaigrette. I heard through the crew that your chili pepper is amazing. Chili pepper water. Yeah. 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 Chili pepper water, we use the, you know, the original Hawaiian chili pepper and just water and some garlic. Yeah. And everyone in Hawaii says they have the best chili pepper water. So I'm gonna put you to the test because I've had sure. a lot of them. Sure. All right, what do we need to do first? Okay, um, so we have a pot of, uh, of simmering water. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of Old Bay Spice. All right. Um, basically it's um, garlic, um, yeah, gr garlic clove. Um, That's a popular yeah. spice. Everyone uses Old Bay Spice, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Just let me know what you need. I'm your sous chef today. Sure, and sure. Can I put that on my resume when we're yeah, done? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, what are we doing next? Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to it. Okay, some Hawaiian salt, yeah. just a pinch. Just a pinch. And we're gonna put all these recipes on our website so you can, uh, we still want you to go to his restaurant, but you can, you know, see what he's doing. Lemon cut in half? A oh, little lemon, uh, lemon juice. Uh, you wanna add a little bit of lemon when you're, when you're poaching um, pretty much uh, any type of shellfish uh -huh. or I crustacean. Trash sure. Okay. Uh, it gives it a little bit of flavor. It also makes it turn bright red. Where did you go to school? I, well, I actually did undergrad. Um, I studied food science, uh -huh. and then um, after after I did food science, then I went to uh, culinary school in upstate New York. Now you went to a really good school in New York, didn't you? Uh, I think so. <laughs> you're, you're here. Okay, where do we gotta go? Okay, next sure. here. Uh, so while it's um, while the while it's coming up, uh, we have a few different types of citrus. Okay. Um, I used uh, I used orange, Meyer lemon, and lime. Now, is this something that you came up with, or is this one of the rules when you poach? Uh, well, there, there's a couple of different rules about poaching. Um, if we had slightly a little bit more time, I would start the poaching liquid um, from cold, okay, and then bring up the um, uh, bring up the shrimp, cooking it slowly. Um, and until it's like essentially like a medium rare. Yeah. Now we all are familiar with poaching an egg, and 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 the time frame with poaching an egg. When you poach shrimp, is it that long? Uh, it's really short. Yeah. It's um. It's, it's almost like a blanche, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a pretty pretty much like at most like a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. All these recipes that you have and you come up with, do you? I mean, you're a food scientist, ob obviously. But are you? Are you constantly coming up with stuff? Are you trying new that's, things all the time? That's that's the fun part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you, and, you, and your wife gets to taste it all, or what happens? Yeah, well, <laughs> she's there with me. She's there with you. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. All right. So you just took it off, peeling an orange. Yeah, just peeling an orange. Okay. Um, I'm gonna maybe toss this in a little bit. Okay. Grab this. Grab that bowl. This bowl here. Yeah. Is this yelling me? Yes, all chef. Right. 
I'll tell you what you, you tell me what you need. So when when you segment an orange, you yeah. can go go down the uh, the white side. The vein. The vein. Okay. Yeah. And you just, just take the just pop it out. All right. Another way, if you feel a more comfortable, go underneath. Okay. Lift it up. Ah, look at that. Look yeah. at those skills, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Yeah. Look at those skills. So we're gonna take those, uh, cut them into smaller pieces, okay. um, which we have over here. So how many did you do? Uh, I did essentially uh, one of one of each type of okay. citrus. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. That's it with that with the, for the orange. Uh, for the for the oranges, we moving on to uh, Meyer lemons and. Uh, All right. Can yeah. I get this out of your way? Yeah. If you right. don't mind. All right. So as the liquid is uh, as the liquid is up, uh -huh. I'm gonna add in the. Uh, the shrimp. The shrimp. Uh, Kulo, uh, it's whole, the, the whole shrimp we just took Kulo off. Kulo Ranch got some amazing shrimp. You just, are you devein it? Uh, yes, we took okay. off the shell, uh, deveined it, uh, took off the head. All right. Uh, gave it a, a nice little wash. How many shrimp we got in there? I uh, believe we have nine. Nine shrimp. All right, yeah. when we come back, we're going to see what this looks like and put the rest of it together. All right, poaching some shrimp today with Chef Kevin Lee. Don't go anywhere more with Cooking Hawaiian Style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We're here with Chef Kevin Lee. We're poaching some shrimp. Now, how long did you put that in there? Uh, really short, about 30 seconds. Okay, and you can put it in an ice bath so it stops cooking. Yeah, so it's nice and chilled. Okay. Yeah. All right, when we do that with next? Of course. Move this on the side? Sure. Uh, so we're just going to continue to segment a little bit more of the of the citrus. Okay. Um, kind of going back to this. Uh, You're going to do the whole orange? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, what was it like working in a in a Michelin star restaurant? Uh, it was, I mean, looking back at it, I mean, I learned a lot, um, but it was, it was definitely really challenging. How does it, how does it get to that status? I mean, what are the, what are the, um, obviously you have to have good food, but what are the other things? Um, extremely good service, you know, attention to detail. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, just t taking a, taking into consideration uh, the guest experience. And do you know the Michelin star judges are coming to your restaurant or is it blind? Uh, it's pretty much blind. Um, you. You really don't know who they are, or how many are actually visiting, uh -huh. or if they're re revisiting customers, or, or not. Is it the same judges for a Michelin star restaurant all the time, or is it you know different people that they choose? Uh, it's different people from different locations. Okay, because I want to become one. Yeah. <laughs> Can I apply somewhere? Is that possible? Uh, if if I knew. Yeah, you, no, they, yeah. Nobody knows, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All okay, right. So we got one whole orange. So we got a whole, whole orange. We're gonna just continue doing it with uh, with some, a little bit of lime. Okay. Now you worked in two Michelin star restaurants, one in Hong Kong and one in New York. Uh, actually, well, two two in New York, and then um, I did a a stage in Hong Kong. Okay. So a stage is essentially your. You're working for experience, okay. so you're not necessarily getting paid for it. Yeah, I definitely wasn't. Yeah, the restaurants in New York. Um, what kind of restaurants were they? Uh, one was a seafood fine dining, uh -huh. uh, kind of international flavors, um, a lot of French and Italian technique. Uh, the second one was um, actually recently closed. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But, well, you um, left. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll let them know. <laughs> All right. Um, Put this out of your way for you. Sure. Um, yeah, and then the, the other ones were, uh, the other one was basically, it was uh, both, uh, I guess, French inspired, uh -huh. um, but again, a whole bunch of uh, meat and fish yeah. as, as a Didn't kind of you a, do something with Indian food? I did. Um, I, during culinary school, um, we have an internship or an externship. Uh -huh. um, it's a 16 week um, paid yeah. program. And uh, my externship was at a um, Indian fusion restaurant. That's awesome. Yeah. How was that? I mean, that's different from what you normally do, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. But I, I definitely I wanted to learn about um, about spice blends, yeah. Indian spice blends, and 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 the culture. This, the food is very simple, but yeah, a lot of different spices, huh? Yeah. Look at that technique, ladies and gentlemen, huh? That's how that's how that's how come you open the big restaurants. <laughs> I couldn't even do that. I don't know if I could even uh, get that far. Good job on that. Oh, thank you. Can we eat that later? Absolutely, yeah. All right, so what do we do next? Okay, so we're going to, uh, let's see. So we're going to take out the shrimp. Okay. Um, we, have, we have a little tray, um, if not. Yeah, we'll put it on the cutting board? Yeah. Is that I, okay? Yeah, I guess we can do that. This is your plate here for plating. All right. How do you, uh, how do you like uh, Hawaii? Oh, I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, the, the whole scene, the, the culinary scene. What do you think of the culinary scene here? Uh, it's it's definitely been growing over the past. Uh, well, I moved here seven years ago. Yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely been growing. 
All right, so we got have a nine shrimp there. Uh, now, is this something we find on your menu? Uh, maybe a variation of it. I have not eaten at your restaurant yet, and I can't wait to go there. I'm actually going there next week. Um, what should I try? What should people try if they go? Well, we have uh, a few different dining options. Uh -huh. uh, we're open for happy hour, um, which is uh, every day we're open, uh, which is Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Um, uh, from four to six, four to six thirty. Uh huh. Uh, we have um, a few different a la carte options. Um, we it kind of actually ex just extended our a la carte options to um, for fall. Okay. Um, including a, a little larger larger fare. All right. Um, so here we have the uh, the limes, Meyer lemon segments. We got some oranges cut up. Yeah. We got lime and lemon. This is looking good. Oh, thank you. This is coming out looking good. Pretty easy recipe, but you make it look so good. Oh, thank you. That's the beauty of uh, what you guys do. As long as you have a, a chef with tweezers in his pocket, you know that brada is good. <laughs> and voila, we're going to put the recipe on our, uh, on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And we're just going to put some microgreens on the top there. Yeah. And, then, and then that's it. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of a chili pepper water vinaigrette. Chili, uh, the chili pepper water vinaigrette. And yeah. you make this from scratch, I'm told. Uh, we do, yeah. We, kind of uh, the, the same kind of traditional way. All um, right. Which one is it? You got it over here? Uh, it's the red bottle. Yeah. Yep. See, I would have never known. Can I try a little bit of that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that you. is really good. You never see it in a kind of creamy sense. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's. Can we go ahead and get that on there? Yeah. Absolutely. And then we're gonna get to the next dish. What do you? What's the next dish you're gonna make? Uh, next dish is gonna be a seafood cappino. Seafood pacino. When we come back, we're gonna figure out what the word pacino means. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you join us. We got more cooking Hawaiian style. That looks awesome. Thank you. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here at the Kualoa Ranch. We got Chef Kevin Lee from Pie Restaurant. Uh, where exactly is the restaurant? That's uh, downtown at uh, Harbor Court. Harbor Court on the bottom floor, huh? On the lobby level, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go check it out. Beautiful place. What are, uh, what are we gonna make next, Chef? Uh, next, we're gonna make a uh, seafood chipino. Yes, yeah, Chef! I didn't wanna know. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> what is a chipino? Uh, chipino is an uh, Italian style seafood stew. Love this stuff. Yeah. I go to Italy all the time. You been to Italy? I have, yeah. Yeah, I, um, what's your favorite? Like my favorite town. Favorite town? Yeah. Uh, uh, Mine's Florence, Tuscany, that area. That is fantastic. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. All right. Let's yeah. get cooking. All right. What do we need? So um, to to start the uh, the seafood base, um, okay. it is um, a little bit of sliced fennel. Fennel is uh, like a black licorice. Uh, yeah. It yeah. has it has a very a very nice licorice taste. I like fennel. I like to drink that after dinner drink. Uh, that tastes like fennel, that like black licorice, that, what is it called? Help me out here, chef. Uh, tastes similar to that. It's white, you put three coffee beans in it. Zambuca! Oh, yeah. Zambuca, that's what I like. All right, we got a pot going over there. What are we gonna do with that pot? Uh, so we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it, and then um, add in the sliced, um, sliced fennel, okay. as well as onion and garlic. Look at those knife skills, huh? You practice a lot, or just uh, uh, playing with food? Yeah, just out of necessity, I suppose. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What fa What's your favorite local food from Hawaii? Uh, I guess lao lao. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Have you done your version of lao lao yet? Uh, we've done a, a broken down version of yeah. it. Yeah. Your Your restaurant is very wide range, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 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 What would you How would you explain it to someone? What do you need here? Uh, can you pass me the olive oil? Olive oil. Yes. What What would you explain? Um, it's how it would you know how what is it? It's taking, I would say it's taking familiar flavors. Okay. And um, and and using and using uh, and using international or international technique. Yeah. And then um, presenting it in a way that uh, you wouldn't necessarily, uh, yeah, that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Okay. Yeah. And you're using a lot of local ingredients, aren't you? We try and highlight as much as possible. Yeah. Awesome. We got some uh, shrimp here from from Kualoa, and then we got some fish here. What kind of fish are you using? Uh, this is uh, tilapia. Okay. Now, how much fennel did you put? Uh, so we put uh, one bulb. Okay. And then about uh, the same amount in um, of uh, white onion. All right. So as uh, as it's starting to cook, we're going to add in a few cloves of garlic, 
uh, thinly sliced as well. You watch uh, a lot of TV? Uh, you have a chance to? A lot of Netflix. You, you, Netflix, did you see that series Rotten? Uh, yeah. On Netflix about yeah. garlic? Yeah. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go see it. Well, that's all I'll say. You gotta go see it. I think it'll change your perspective on garlic. I love garlic. Who doesn't, right? Yeah. How many cloves are you doing there? Uh, for this amount, probably about four. Okay. Yeah. And when you're not cooking, what do you eat at home? Do you cook at home at all? Um, we do a lot of hot pot. Do you? Yeah. You like shabu shabu? Uh, for the most yeah. part, yeah. That's, yeah. All right, some garlic in there. Just gonna add a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Who's your food idol? Food idol. Do you have anybody that you used to watch when you were growing up or look up to? I used to watch Martin Yang growing up. Really? Yeah. 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 Didn't we, I think we had him on our show. He was one of our first guests. Uh, and he had, a, he, he had his own cooking show and uh, he came on our show and he brought this walk that was about 100 years old and this spatula that looked like it went to war. But he was really funny. And he, he was, you know, he's getting older. Yeah. Uh, but he, he was one of our first guests on this show. I get, I get to brag about that. All right, what do we do with the fish? Uh, so, we're, so we're taking um, the ta tilapia filet. Okay. Which is really hard. So we're using tilapia? Yes. Let's do it this way. Do you always use tilapia? Uh, or not, whatever you get? Uh, it's pretty much we, we try and highlight whatever's, whatever's fresh. Okay. And uh, when the, the fennel and the, the onions are, what are you gonna just let it um, yeah, caramelize? We're, uh, we're, gonna let it, we're gonna let it sweat. Okay. Uh, which is basically uh, cooking without, or with minimal color. All right. We're gonna uh, finish up that, we're making a broth, right? Uh, we, are, we are making a broth. All right, we're gonna come back and finish up that broth and put the rest of this together. Don't go anywhere. Chef Kevin Lee is in the kitchen. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here at the beautiful Kualoa Ranch, 4,000 acres of beauty. Look at that. Our ride is here, Chef. Oh, wow. What are we, we going to finish up here? Uh, so we're going to add the uh, diced tomato. Okay. To now we got the onion and fennel. Onion, fennel, garlic. We're going to let this cook down. Um, okay, how long does that usually take? Uh, probably about 20 minutes or so. All right. 20 and, 30 and it's going to look like this one here. It's going to look like like this. Okay. So to the to the, the cooked down onion, fennel, tomato, uh -huh. and... Uh, Some stock? A little bit of fish stock. All right. Okay. Some fish stock there. How much do you put in there? Um, let's see, enough so uh, the fish is able to steam. Okay. So that's probably about uh, maybe a little over a pint. All right. Uh, a little bit of saffron. Saffron. Yeah. I like saffron. Yeah. All right. So this is coming up. Um, we're gonna season the uh, filleted tilapia. All right. A little bit of a uh, little bit of coarse salt and pepper. Okay. Now, do you always use tilapia, or do you use whatever you get? Oh, we use whatever we can get. Um, that's that's fresh and uh, that we can get our hands on. Really. Do you do a lot of seafood in the restaurant? Uh, we do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. You got to try these uh, Kualoa Ranch oysters. Oh, yeah. Amazing oysters. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Okay. So to the seafood stew, we're going to be adding. Uh, well, actually, yeah. the, uh, the oysters. Okay. Oysters. Uh, the, um, the the shrimp. Okay. And you got to clean the outside of those really good, huh? We do. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, you have to spray it down. What do you, What do you use? Um, we use a um, like a, a firm bristle brush and just under under running running water. In. Okay. Yeah. So you guys know at home, all right? Don't just throw your oysters in there and think that it's going to be clean. All right, what do we put next? Cool. So uh, as these are as these are coming up, we're going to add uh, the uh, seasoned tilapia. Okay. This is really a, a, a fish, a seafood stew, right? It is. Italian yeah. style. Yeah. So you, you can add whatever type of seafood that you like. Okay. Um, if you want a little bit of meat in it, you can also add like chorizo or something, something okay. a spicy. What's been the number one seller at your restaurant? Uh, right now, we have a whole fried nabetta. Oh. Uh, nabetta, if you're not familiar with it, yes. it's a um, type of parrotfish. Really good um, fish. The, uh, the scales become crispy, uh -huh. so you leave them on, and yeah. then they act like, look like little chips. Awesome. Yeah, they're, they're really good. And you also have a chef's table, don't you, in your restaurant? We do. And that menu is different from the whole restaurant? It, it, we do, yeah. It's a 12-course uh, tasting menu. Wow. You can get wine pairings with it as well. Um, and then we change that every six to eight weeks. Oh, do you? Okay, do, yeah. that's good to know. Yeah. All right, what else are we gonna do here? Okay, um, so uh, as the as the uh, oysters and tilapia are cooking, we're gonna add in the um, uh, the, kualoa, the, kualoa, the kualoa shrimp. Yes, yeah. 
We're going to leave the heads on. How many are you going to put in there? Uh, this one's about uh, nine. OK. For those of you thinking, why are you putting the heads in there, just know all that juice and all that flavor is in the heads. Don't ever let that go to waste. Yeah. So we're going to let that, uh, let that poach. OK. Uh, and by the time the oysters are open, all the other seafood should be ready. And that's how you really know when, when it's re good to go, right? Yeah. When those open up. Yeah. We're going to add a little bit of uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice. OK. And some fresh herbs. Now, you grew up in uh, California? I grew up in Southern California. Southern California. What's your favorite restaurant in, in California? In California. Uh, you can uh, name a few. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you don't know? Where do you eat at? My mom cooks Your mom? Pretty, pretty much everything. <laughs> does she? What yeah. does she cook? Um, she does like she does American as well as um, you know as as well as some 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 Chinese stuff yeah. as well. Do you, do you use any of her techniques or recipes when you're in the restaurant? Uh, we do. Do uh, you I actually just put on a um, a whole stuffed Cornish ham? Oh wow! It's filled with a little bit of uh, mochi rice. Wow! And then uh, chicken gravy. We nice. fancy it up a little bit with some truffles. And That's then, uh, awesome. So we're just gonna add these in. This is smelling good. This is looking good too. This is a nice little stir. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna cook for how long? Uh, 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 what do you think the estimate is when the oysters open? Uh, probably four to five minutes. Because you don't want to overcook it, right? No. The shrimp's gonna get rubbery. Yeah. Shrimp's gonna get rubbery. Uh, the the fish is gonna tighten up a little bit too much. Uh, and you definitely don't want those oysters overcooking you. Yeah. Tell everybody when the restaurant's open. Uh, we're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Uh, we're uh, open 4.30 to 4.30 to, to whenever. You have a happy hour. Us. We also have a happy hour. Okay. And um, we just opened up for lunch uh, Wednesday through Friday. Awesome. I'm going to try this. Tell everybody how you made this again. Uh, once again, we took uh, a little bit of um, uh, seasoned, uh, seasoned water. It has a little bit of Old Bay Spice lemon juice. Uh, quickly poached the shrimp, uh, segmented some fresh citrus, a chili pepper, water vinaigrette, and a curry leaf oil. That's amazing. And then we got the, the stew. I wish I could try that, but we're just about out of time. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Congratulations on the restaurant. And um, go check out the restaurant. It's called Pie. It's located in uh, Harper Court in downtown Honolulu. Check out our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. We'll see you next time. It's Cooking Hawaiian Style.